Based on a true story, The Wolf of Wall Street chronicles the epic rise and fall of a New York stockbroker intoxicated by greed and hedonistic gratification. Hello, I'm Leonardo DiCaprio, and here is a scene from Wolf of Wall Street. Is that your car on the left? Yeah. Is yeah. Jag? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much money you make? I don't know, 72000 last month. You show me a pay stuff for $72,000 on it, I quit my job right now and I work for you. Hey, listen, I, I quit. Yeah, I'm going into stocks. This character is so extreme and he has this outrageous lifestyle and other than the fact that he probably seemed like a heck of a good time on paper, why were you drawn to this particular role? Jordan and his lifestyle and what he did during Wall Street at, th at that time period is kind of a reflection of everything that's wrong with society today. <laughs> Reading the book, it's unholy. Uh, it's fantastic. Unfortunately, it's true. At the tender age of 22, I headed to the only place that befit my high-minded ambition. He's somebody that gave in to every hedonistic urge possible and had complete disregard for anyone except himself and the accumulation of, of more wealth. Jordan didn't so set out to be a master criminal, but was sort of a regular guy from Queens who wanted to be rich and he was very ambitious and wanted to make a living in, you know, on Wall Street. And as he said himself many times, you know, he just kept drawing these lines for himself in the sand of things he would never do and kept crossing those lines. And before he knew it, he said, I was up to my neck in water and I didn't know how I got there. I started my own firm out of an abandoned auto body shop. It's a dark comedy, you know, it's, um, it's a satire, but what we're talking about is, uh, you know, very serious. Issue. I didn't realize that it being so funny and truthful at the same time and representing that that era so well, the, the irony of it was sort of dripping with sweet disgust. With this script, I'm gonna teach each and every one of you to be the best. This is the greatest company in the world! I have to ask you, did you meet the real Jordan Belfort? I did many times, okay. yeah. He's so how accurate is this film to the true story? It, well, according to Jordan and also to the FBI agent who arrested him, who told me this story is completely accurate. The guy told me, look, I tracked this guy for 10 years and I will tell you every single thing in that book is true, which makes it even more incredible because it's an amazing story. The real question is this, was all this legal? Absolutely not. There's sex, drugs, alcohol, money, drama, but like you said, there's comedy throughout the film and I thought it was fantastic and maybe one of your best career performances. Thank you very much. But as a producer, what did you see in the project as a whole? What I like to look at, look at this film as is kind of like a, a Caligula for modern times. It's almost like a, a modern day you know, film about the Roman Empire falling. I think a lot of people will have different, different feelings. But no one will doubt that it's a really brilliantly put together piece of film that people leave everything on the screen. You just tried to bribe a federal officer. <laughs> this is America! This is a lifestyle that some people dream of. And as an actor, being this character, did you almost feel like you were actually experiencing the lifestyle that he had? Every day on, on set, we basically, each one of our characters thought about what was best for us, <laughs> you know? Get, we, we gave in to every indulgence that these characters would ever want, and that's what, that's what Marty wanted. He wanted it to be like organized chaos. This is my home! Good for you, little man. Leonardo DiCaprio and Jonah Hill and, 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 and Rob, they all are fearless in what they do in this film. The attitude of everyone on set was just insane. It was wild and it, there was a lot of improvisation and a, a lot of us really, you know, took the scenes in, in a multitude of different directions that we never thought were possible because we, we set up the film that way. I'm gonna need to send in the National Guard to take me out because I ain't going 